Hey, this is Jeremy with uh, Wind River Tiny Homes, and he's going to show us <laughs> this very cool tiny house that he has built. And let me just ask you before we start, where are you from, Jeremy? Or where? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, you're a little bit local here. <laughs> we are local. We're about 20 minutes from where we are standing. That's Our awesome. About 20 minutes from where we're standing. Okay, um, show me around here. And one of the things I already love that I will say is the win all the windows in this thing. So. So yeah, I'll start off on the outside and. Um, so this is a custom tiny house. Mainly what we do is custom tiny homes. Um, a lot of times we do higher end uh, stuff just because we have clients requesting that. And so this we're building this for a client who lives in Vermont and he's got a piece of property um, overlooking the Vermont wilderness up on the top of this mountain. And so, um, oh, so you'll see the slope of the roof is actually this way. Okay. The doors on this side. Normally we'd, we would reverse that. We would have the We'd have the slope of the roof the other way, and we would have the door on the high side. But we reversed it because you'll see, and once we get in the house, there's really huge windows, and that's going to be his panoramic view nice. off the edge. So he wanted it set up this way, and we're going to have an awning coming off to keep the rain off of him when he's at his door. Okay. But yeah, you can see this is um, this is Western Red Cedar, uh, the whole thing, Western Red Cedar, um, yellow pine stain trim, and then um, accents around the whole house. This is a sheet steel that was we did like an uh, acid wash that etched the steel and then we sealed we clear coated over that so um, just you know kind That's of beautiful. creative stuff that we like to come up with um, and this this house is actually not quite finished it's going to be finished in about three weeks um, and we'll be, we'll be shipping it out so currently it would be considered an unfinished shell which we do offer okay. so, so if a client wants you know it finished to this level and they want to do you know, some of the finishing touches themselves, you know, we do that for, for the clients. I'm going to try to step up in here so I can get a shot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so I can get a good shot of these, uh, all these windows in this view. Yeah, so these are obviously the panoramic. He'll be, he'll be looking at these at the, um, at the Vermont Wilderness. And uh, you can see how it's currently set up. There'll be the AC, uh, up here will be the AC um, and heat mini split unit. Okay. This whole thing will be shelves. This whole wall will be shelves, and there'll be a desk area right here built into okay. built into that. And then there'll be a well-mounted fireplace in this corner. Oh, nice! Um, Wood-burning fireplace that'll go out the ceiling and, there. And Jeremy, how how big is this one? This is 26 feet long um, okay. by uh, the full eight and a half width on the outside. Okay. And it's about 13.4, so we like to keep about, keep it about two inches. Keep it a little under. Yeah. Okay. I really. And, uh, I wish I could get a better shot of these windows, but I did take a picture from the outside, so I'll, okay. I'll definitely include that so everybody can see. And then right here, he's actually going to have a, we're going to do a custom weight rack. He's a weightlifter. Oh. So we're going to have a squat, a squat rack and a bench uh, rack. Now we're going to do a custom right here, so we'll have that you know, configured right in front of his window. But the kitchen will be here. Um, he'll have his sink right here, in front of the window here. Um, and then there'll be a cook top um, here as well next to it. And then the, actually the cooktop's gonna be over here. The fridge is gonna be, it'll be an under counter fridge right here. Um, and then- Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful bathroom. I'm getting ahead of myself. But, yeah, okay. uh, we did, on both sides here, we did light bulbs. Um, we set we set sockets actually into the beams here. Um, cool. So just a little, little tweak. And then there's actually gonna be a, a beam running down the whole top of the house that has lights like that in it. Um, and then the bathroom, the shower's pretty much finished, but everything else is unfinished. So. Oh my gosh, that's the shower. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, so this will be, again, this will be a view for him. Um, uh, obviously, we want some more privacy. I was going to say, and it might be a view other for room. other people too, right? <laughs> hey, you know, it goes both ways. You know, you scratch. Oh, look at that. Right yeah. <laughs> um, Again, here's the lights a little bit. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, the rain shower head and then a handheld shower there. And, uh, and then this will be his... Um, Toilet will be here. We're gonna do a custom, a custom composting okay. toilet for him. And then this is a utility closet back here with his hot water heater, power box, and um, utility storage area. And then okay. his sink will be here. Um, and we'll have a, we'll have a nice um, basin. You know, we're gonna build a live edge countertop. And oh, have that's a basin sink on that's top neat. of it. So. I want to get that window one more time because that's just gorgeous. I'm gonna back up here. Maybe I can get that in. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, um, and then I guess this must be the loft, huh? Yeah, so this is, yeah, this, there'll be steps coming up right here. Okay. Um, starting right at the edge of the door, and they'll come up. Um, to the, okay, to so the a stairway, area. not a ladder. There'll be a stairway, yeah. And yeah. will there be like storage or anything? What'll yeah, be so there'll be storage, there'll be actually a washer dryer right here. Oh, great, okay. Um, 
combo washer dryer, and then around everywhere else will be cubby storage. Okay. Um, and then if, if Pete, right now it's unfinished, so this is kind of a teaser, and if anyone wants to see the finished house, probably in about, I'm guessing in a month or a month and a half, we'll have a full gallery up on our website. Okay, you, and people will be able to go tell us the name of your there. website. WindRiverTinyHomes.com WindRiverTinyHomes.com and, and then my name is Jeremy Weaver, and I also blog at TallManTinyHouse.com Okay, that's great, Jeremy. Thank you very much. No problem.